Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is Coca-Cola. So yes, Coca-Cola, the energy chocolate. This product comes from Germany. And it's got quite a long history. This was first made, I believe, in 1936 for the Berlin Olympics. It is a circular chocolate bar fortified with caffeine from coffee and cola nuts. Now doing a little bit of background research on this, I learn that the recipe has hardly changed since its original launch in 1936 and indeed the packaging has not changed very much across the years except for that one time that it did. But anyway, let's have a look at the ingredients. So the ingredients are in German and in English, that's good. So it is bittersweet chocolate with coffee and cola nut powder. Ingredients, cocoa mass, sugar, cocoa butter, coffee, 2.6%, whole milk powder, cola nut powder, 1.6%, emulsifiers, sunflower lecithin, E476 flavor, may contain traces of hazelnuts, almonds, gluten, and soy. Contains caffeine, not recommended for children and pregnant women. A varied and balanced diet, as well as a healthy lifestyle, are important. Well, some good advice there. So the tin, it's a, it comes in a metal tin, which is very reminiscent of a boot polish tin or lip balm. Although, you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. Let's open it up and have a look. So there's a little tear strip there. Now, while we're opening this, I should just say, I first heard of this on Steve MRE's channel, which I'll put a link to in the video description. Steve MRE took a vintage tin of this, opened it up and tasted it, and he said it was actually quite good. I think it was actually a vintage wartime or post-war example of Coca-Cola that he opened up, so it was, it was like 70 years old, and he said that tasted pretty good. So anyway, let's open it up and have a look. So we've got, the lid comes off nice and easy. I'm not really sure what this little bit here is for. If you're meant to open it like that, maybe, I don't know. There's a little bit of corrugated paper. And then, ah, oh, the chocolate is actually in portions already. Now, before when I've seen this, it was in discs that you had to break up into portions. The, um, I think that's a traditional presentation of this. It used to be in discs that you had to break up yourself by hand. Now, I'm told that two of these is equivalent to a cup of strong espresso. So anyway, I'm going to have a little taste now. Let's have a smell first. It smells like very good quality dark chocolate. Mm, I can taste the coffee. Yeah, I think I probably can taste the cola nut powder as well. I'm not really sure what I'm actually tasting for there. The chocolate is very, very tasty. It's a really nice, dark, slightly bitter, chocolatey chocolate. But it's got a good hint of coffee in there. And so that makes it quite a nice kind of after-dinner type of chocolate, I suppose. That's just really nice. That's really nice chocolate. So we get in the tin, we get 16 portions like that. I'm not going to eat more than two because, as it said, as it said in the material that I researched, two of these is equivalent to a cup of espresso. Now I haven't had any coffee today, so we will see in a minute whether that gives me the kind of wake-up hit that I normally get from a cup of coffee in the morning. Interesting little sharp edge on the t on the packaging there. That's unusual for a modern product. Rubber band around that or something if you were taking that on a w walk with you. That does look, seem like the sort of thing 
that would be good to take on a long hike just to give you a boost of energy if you didn't have time to stop and have a meal and a cup of hot coffee. So I may be imagining it, but five minutes after eating those two little squares, triangles of shulka cola, I do actually feel like I'm starting to wake up. And so that does feel like I've had a cup of coffee. So I guess that's what is expected from this. So yeah, I think that's actually rather nice. It's tasty chocolate. It's especially nice because it's got that little coffee hit in there. You can actually taste the coffee. It's not just an energy chocolate with caffeine dumped into it. It's got caffeine from natural sources with their own subtle flavors. So it's got the coffee in there that you can taste. And there is something different about it as well, which I assume must be the cola nut. There's a different sort of fruity, spicy little flavor note there to it. So there we go, that's weird stuff in a can, Shocker Cola. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.